The Pepsodent Show, starring Bob Hope. Good evening to you folks. Hang up your hats and coats. Pull up a chair and shed your care. He's on the air, Bob Hope. Ah, thank you so much. Hello, here we go with our fun show. Wear a grin to get in through the wicket. Where thereafter your laughter's your ticket. And smiles will last. A season's past. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob Hope, the fellow who helps make Tuesday night such a swell night to go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you folks for taking such an interest in the program. My fan mail has been so heavy these last few weeks that I had to get another cigar box. <laughs> well, Halloween is gone, and so is my house. <laughs> Halloween is really for the kids. They have so much fun. They're so cute. <laughs> Angels with dirty soap. They came around. <laughs> They're marvelous, those kids. They come around to the house, and they send one kid up to the door the one without the axe, and the kid looks at you. <laughs> and the kid looks at you and says, treat or tricks. <laughs> then, they get, then you give them some cookies, and they take your cookies in your front porch and run away. <laughs> when they got through with my house, it looked like a testing ground for termites. <laughs> no kidding, I had a piece of every billboard from 10 miles around. <laughs> the first thing I saw when I stepped out of the house this morning was, 30 motion pictures every Thursday are your best community chest. <laughs> So vote now um, even, even this morning A kid came around And threw some garbage on my lawn I said, hey, what are you doing? He said, pardon me I forgot this last night <laughs> When I asked him Why I was throwing garbage He said, what do you think You throw at us Every Tuesday night? <laughs> but uh, enough of that I think we have A nice show here tonight That consists of The foremost singing comedian Of the motion picture world Miss Martha Ray And in the regular lineup We have Skinny Ennis And his band Six Hits and a Miss Jerry Colonna Through the courtesy Of Warner Brothers And Bob Hope Through the courtesy Of his landlord that's Bill Goodwin He gave a Halloween party last night 25 cent cover charge We, uh, we had a nice party at Bill's place Of course, his room is a little small <laughs> More of a closet that made good It was so small It was so small that Bill didn't have room for pumpkins So he cut faces and grapes <laughs> And he had a midget witch riding around the room on a toothbrush. <laughs> what a room. You've heard of sunken living rooms? Well, Bill's room has a sunken ceiling. <laughs> nice, but it got a little tiresome dancing around on our knees. <laughs> and the music was nice, too, but we ran out of nickels. <laughs> I used to tell that uh, joke in vaudeville with Fibber McGee. <laughs> you remember Fibber, huh? When you and I were young, McGee. But anyway, we, uh, at the party last night, we ran out of nickels. And of course, we played ducking for apples. I put my head in the tub and came up with Johnny Weismuller. Then to keep the party alive, we got in the tub and made the apples duck for us. <laughs> sort of an underwater Lambeth walk. <laughs> Bill won the prize for pinning the tail on the donkey. I don't know whether he peaked or whether he's a Democrat. <laughs> And all the girls came to the party with dresses that matched their boyfriend's hair. Kay Francis came with Jimmy Cagney, wore a red dress. Sonia Henney came with Jerome Power and wore a black dress. Jeanette McDonald came with Jean Raymond and wore a gold dress. And Gypsy Rosalie came with Guy Kibbe. Uh... <laughs> oh, it was a swell part. Bing Crosby that was there, he was dressed cute. His suit was so loud, the Moors had were wearing dark glasses. <laughs> Well, I finally got that out Marble mouth And Jimmy Fiddler was there Jimmy Fiddler was there, too By midnight, he was so sleepy He could hardly keep his ears open Say, <laughs> Bob, how, how did you like my Halloween party? Oh, fine, Bill What hamburger stand did the catering? <laughs> you know, Bob, my girl thought you were made up as a spook When you were eating, she said Boy, look at that goblin Yeah <laughs> Well, I had fun, Bill Did you see me chasing Martha Ray around the room? Wasn't that a laugh? Yeah, Bob, that was one laugh after another <laughs> How'd you like the way I was dressed, Bill? Well, Bob, that was a novel idea Coming to the party in a suit made out of old insurance policies <laughs> Not so novel Every time I started dancing, two of them expired <laughs> Hello, fellas Hi, Hello, Skinny Hi, Skinny Hey, Bob 
How'd you like that white sheet I put on for the party? Oh, that was fine, Skinny, but what was that big bulge in the back? Shucks, man. You wouldn't want me to wake my father up. Yeah. <laughs> no, Skinny, but you didn't have to sit on him all night. There's only one fellow in this program who knows how to act at a party. Greetings, Gate. Let's celebrate. <laughs> I love parties, I love girls That is why my mustache curls <laughs> Take off your mask, Professor Halloween is over Ah, Halloween What merriment, what gaiety I spent the entire night stealing gates Gates <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Professor Why did you attend Goodwin's party With a frankfurter around your neck? Ah, yes I wanted to look Halloween-y <laughs> I get it, Professor. Halloweeny. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, jokes like that can end my radio career. Mmm, goody. <laughs> One minute, I smell something smoking. Is it you, Professor? Ah, yes. I bought this suit at the fire sale, and it's still burning. <laughs> One of my quirks. I've always wanted a light suit. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you have a headache, Professor, doubt it. Quiet, Maeve. <laughs> I passed four black cats on my way to the studio. They meowed at me, and I was awfully embarrassed. Well, Professor, why should that embarrass you? My mustache meowed back at them. <laughs> Incidentally, Professor, how do you keep that mustache pressed so nicely? I sleep with my head between a book. <laughs> <laughs> you intrigued me, Professor. Ah, Halloween. How I recalled my first Halloween party. We were ducking for ducks. <laughs> for ducks? Yes, Gate. They'd already eaten the apples. <laughs> In my youth, I was afflicted uh, with a poor memory. You handled that nicely. <laughs> when it was my turn to duck, I put my head under the water and forgot to take it out. Really? Days passed. Autumn vanished into the winter. The water froze into a cake of ice. The ice company came out and chopped. Chop. Chop. <laughs> the next thing I knew, I was in an ice box. Time staggers on. <laughs> I am now in a highball Balancing a cherry on my nose <laughs> The end A fellow drank me down If a fellow drank you down What are you doing here? Ah, so you're wondering too? <laughs> and now while the professor Slips into his straitjacket Skinny Ennis, our quivering baritone Sings heart and soul From the Paramount picture A Song is Born Take it, Skinny <laughs> Heart and soul, I fell in love with you, heart and soul, the way a fool would do gladly, I guess it served me right, to steal a kiss in the night, heart and soul, I longed to find romance, saw my goal, and took the fatal chance gladly, there on that night we kissed, there in the moon. Oh, but your lips were thrilling Much too thrilling Why in the world were they so Strangely willing Can't you see What one embrace can do Look at me It's got me loving you madly That little kiss I stole, cost me my heart and soul. And that little kiss I stole, cost me my heart and soul. Would you like to try an interesting experiment? It really won't take more than a minute of your time. Just do this. After the broadcast tonight, stand squarely in front of a good-sized, well-lighted mirror. Next, put on your biggest and broadest smile. Yes, the very best smile in your repertoire. Then ask yourself these questions quite frankly. Am I proud of my smile? Is it bright and sparkling the way I want it to be? Is it a fetching, irresistible, magnetic sort of smile? Of course, I don't know what story your mirror will tell you, but if you're the least bit disappointed in the sparkle and gleam of your smile, I have a little tip for you. You really should try New Day Pepsodent Toothpaste or Powder containing Irium. There's a combination that really does wonders for your smile. How? 
Well, you see, Arium is a marvelous new cleansing agent found in Pepsodent alone of all dentifrices, which helps Pepsodent to gently brush away unsightly surface stains from tooth enamel. With these masking surface stains gone, your teeth then reveal their full natural luster so that they shine and sparkle with all their glorious natural beauty. Furthermore, Pepsodent is safe in its action on teeth since it contains no grit, no pumice, no drugs. Start using Pepsodent containing irium right away, and in a short time, look in your mirror for the happy results. How'd you like love me? How'd you like it? How'd you like kiss me? How'd you like it? Can I guess it's to learn if I can bear my way? How'd you like to love me? On the level, how'd you like to miss me? Like the devil, would you be so kind as to keep me on your mind all day? I told my doctor, my lawyer, to see what they think. Why, the moment they saw you, were they tickled pink? So, how'd you like to love me? How, how'd you like it? How'd you Here like Here she is, ladies me? and gentlemen, that latest glamour girl from the Paramount Studios. We take pride in bringing you that demure, alluring, bashful... Has he gone nuts? That seductive, sweet, captivating... He's wacky! That charming, lovable glamour girl... I am a... Miss Martha Ray! <laughs> Oh, thank you very much, Robert. <laughs> I'm awfully glad to be here. Awfully, awfully. I've, uh, I've heard your program several times, and, and in fact, my husband and I have listened in and... Uh... Oh, your husband? Here it comes. Martha just got married, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's not him, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yes, yes, my husband. Doesn't that sound thrilling? Oh, Mom! <laughs> Hey, Martha married a very good friend of mine, by the way, Dave Rose. How are you tonight, Mrs. Rose? Mrs. Rose. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> Why, I'm fine, thank you, Mr. Holt. You know, I can just see your little cottage, Martha, with all those little rambling roses running around. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cute, huh? Oh, Bob. Where'd you get married, Martha? Well, we went to Ansonata to get married, and Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy Siddler went along with us. Really? You see, Jimmy was the best man. You took a columnist on your honeymoon? Yeah, and he gave it five bells. <laughs> Well, I have to hand it to you, taking Fiddler on your honeymoon. But why a columnist? Why not? My life's just an open letter, really. <laughs> well, I haven't lived enough for a whole letter yet, but... Uh... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You get around. You haven't got that bicycle for nothing. <laughs> you can't mean me, Martha. Yeah, well, you're awful fickle, Bob. Look, you've been playing opposite that Shirley Ross. Who? Shirley Ross. That other woman, you know. Oh, Shirley Ross, yes. Well, you've been in two pictures with her, and this is the third with me. What I want to know is, Bob, which one of us do you enjoy kissing the most? Well, Martha... Think fast, you liar. <laughs> well, it's not a fair question, Martha, because I've never really graded my osculatory efforts. Oh. Where do I find that, huh? <laughs> well, all I know is that your kisses have been kind of weak lately. It's not true, Martha. My kisses always have power. Yes, but not enough to roam. Yeah. Oh! Well, Madeline... Madeline Carroll didn't think so. You kissed Madeline Carroll? Yeah, I kissed her so hard, I went right through the frame. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Kick that around. Oh, I'd like to see you play a love scene with Hedy Lamar. So would I. Why, the minute she'd take you in her arms, you'd forget everything. Ah, oh, but think of that minute. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you were Ronald Coleman... Oh, yeah? Oh, no, no. What's he got that we both want? <laughs> Why, if you were Ronald Coleman, I'd help you make mistakes so we could do the scene over. Mm -hmm. Imagine doing one love scene 20 or 30 times a day. Pick your it. Just pick your it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> My arms. Quiet, Jack. My arms. My arms about his neck. And I look into his eyes and say, Oh, Ronnie boy. Ronnie boy. Oh, Ronnie boy. <laughs> do you mind? And he says, Marcy gal, our lips meet. And from then on, I just hang. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Martha, you can wake up now. It's time for your song. Oh. <laughs> old Man River That old man river He don't say nothing must know something, he just keeps rolling. 
it keeps on rolling along. Ah, here don't plant taters, and here don't plant cotton, and them that plant them is soon forgotten. But old man river, it just keeps rolling along. Apologies to the British Empire and practically everybody else brings you his version of that latest international complication, the Lambeth Walk. You find them all doing the Lambeth Walk. Say, Bill, where's all that music coming from? Why, Bob, that's that new dancing school next door. Well, let's go over there and make them cut it out. This is no way to run a broadcast. Well, okay, but they got a lot of pretty dancing girls over there, and I was wondering... Listen, I don't care what they... Oh, pretty dancing girls, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, Bob, and I was wondering if you'd come back... Yeah, if, but... If... Uh, listen, Bill, we can't have a dance studio play loud music while we're on the air, even if there are pretty girls up there. We'll have to go up there and find out about this thing, even if there are pretty girls up there. <laughs> How many are there? Say, hey, look at the sign on that door, Bob. Yeah, Professor Colonna, Terpsichorean and Tricasies. Turkey Trot, Bunny Hug, The Castle Glide, Charleston Tap... Trucking down local or long distance. <laughs> well, let's go in. Okay. Greetings, Gate. Let's syncopate. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Professor Colonna? If I'm not, he'll be awfully surprised because I'm wearing his head. <laughs> Where are the girls, Professor? They're doing an underwater ballet in the tank. Oh, the tank. You're welcome. <laughs> Say, Bob, now that we're here, this is a good chance to learn the Lambeth Walk Oh, Bill, I hate the switch, I'm just mastering the Charleston <laughs> Next week, I'm starting the Black Bottom uh, The first part? <laughs> Say, Bob, have you forgotten we're going to a big party tonight Given by the Duke and Duchess of Stuff Of Stuff? Yeah, of oh, Stuff well. And uh, very, very English, and they'll expect us to know the Lambeth Walk Perhaps I can be of some assistance, Gates I'm going to the party myself I should give you a lesson immediately after the Duke's dinner. Oh, Professor, you mean duck dinner. Silence, Knave. I know what I mean. I helped the Duchess prepare it myself. I went duck hunting with the Duke, and the Duke forgot to duck. A Duke's dinner. <laughs> I hope the dinner isn't as old as that gag, Professor. Well, let's duck out of here, Bill. We'll see you tonight, Professor, if we're not careful. Here's the place, Bob. Did you find a place to park? Yeah, right over there in that stand with the other bicycles. I'll ring the bell. Are you guests? 
<laughs> yes. Stop hissing us. Here, take our cards and announce us. Uh, <clears throat> announcing the arrival of Mr. William Goodwin and Uncle Jakey's pawn shop. Oh, wait a minute, wait. You <laughs> gave the wrong card. This one here. I'm sorry. Cancel Uncle Jakey. Make that one Bob Hope coming up. <laughs> well, here comes the Duke. Oh, oh, there you are. There you are. Delighted to know you and all that rot. <laughs> yes, yes. How do you find yourselves? <laughs> uh, well, my friend generally looks at me and I look back at him and there we are. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Jolly, jolly. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, may I present her ladyship, the Duchess? Skinny old bag, eh, what? <laughs> How'd you do? How'd you do? And I do mean you do. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. You're just in time for dinner. Oh, that's well. I'm so hungry I could eat like a horse. You know, that's very odd. I'm afraid we'll have to take pot luck. We're almost out of hay. <laughs> well, if you could run short, I could graze on your mustache, old boy. Right there. <laughs> yes, yes, quite. I say old fruit. I, uh, I hear you're on the wireless. Yes, I do a broadcast every Tuesday night for Pepsodent. You know, that's awfully sporting of you, old chap. Do they do anything for you? <laughs> well, in a way, I collect a stipend every now and then. Say, that's awfully sporting of them, too. <laughs> oh, wait! Imagine commercial payments for broadcasting. We don't do things like that in Britain, you know, old boy. I know that's the reason I'm not in Britain, old boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, but it's a pleasure to be over here. Such refinement, such elegance and culture. Dinner is served. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> uh, here, here. I, I say, I say, Duchess, watch where you're sitting. This is my place. Why, Duke, I was here first. Say, will you both get off my lap? <laughs> uh, I say, old boy, will you pass me the watermelon, uh... Two will be enough. <laughs> Righto, do you mind if I roll them to you? I'm somewhat of a bounder myself. Coming up, Duke. <laughs> oh, I say, good shot, old boy, a strike. <laughs> say, Duchess, did you see any of Mr. Hope's pictures in England? Oh, yes. A hardly a day passed that I didn't stroll into the Penny Arcade. <laughs> oh, I always enjoyed him. Uh, Quite a bit of cinema work myself. Uh, just what was your experience in the English film, Duchess? Oh, Mr. Hope, I, uh, I appeared in Scotland Yard, goes to town, Scotland Yard comes back, Scotland Yard rides again, and, uh, and uh, Dick Tracy at bay. What happened in that last picture? We ran out of scotch. <laughs> Greetings, Gate. I guess I'm late. <laughs> Do sit down and have a bite. We were just in time. What a dinner. What a repast. There's nothing like a festive board loaded to the gunnels with rare delicacy. Ah, oh, Professor, will you please pass the hay? Ah, what a dinner. I remember well the famous dinner they gave me on the day my mustache came of age. <laughs> First we had truffles, and then a trifle later, trifles. Then a glorious dish of filet of East Indian possum and casserole a la Francais or petit pâté with a dash of lard. <laughs> How do you feel after a dinner like that, Professor? As a famous gourmet once said after eating a heavy meal, quote, burp, unquote. <laughs> well, that sounds tasty. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, Professor. We're ready for our lesson in the Lambeth Walk. Uh, Mr. Hope, won't you take the first lesson? Well, I don't like to be a stand-in for a guinea pig, but what do I do first, Prof? Take your left foot and put it in midair. Mm -hmm. That's it. Keep it there. Now do the same thing with your right foot. Ouch. Strange. Nobody seems to get that at first. <laughs> Let's try it again. Say, Professor, perhaps you can show us how that step should be done. Watch me, Gates. This ought to be good, good it. Watch me very closely. First, I raise my right foot. Now I raise my left foot. See? Help! I'm in mid-air! <laughs> Don't stand there and stare at me, Gates. <laughs> uh, this is impossible, but it's funny. <laughs> or is it? Professor, how are you going to get down? I just do my imitation of Fred Astaire and walk down. Astaire walk. <laughs> Does anybody get it? <laughs> Does anybody want it? <laughs> That's amazing, Professor. 
The last time I did that, magazines came from all over the country for interviews and pictures. I turned them all down except one magazine which I allowed to photograph me from all directions, including south by east, east by west, and spawn of the north. <laughs> but, Professor, if you turned down so many others, why did you let this one magazine take so many pictures of you? Because I love life! <laughs> I love life! That's all right, boy. <laughs> bring Cubans, it up, Rob. Cubans, bring it up. Put your feet together, place your hands on your hips, bend down and touch the floor. Yeah, what do I do now? See if you can find me a good cigar. <laughs> I'd like to find a pipe, a lead one for you, Professor. Let us continue. Bend down, place your head gently between your knees. Got it? Got it. Now rapidly insert your left elbow behind each adjoining ankle. <laughs> Grab it with your right hand and tie Boy Scout knot number 682-450. <laughs> if a man hances, hang up. <laughs> Bill, grab my hand and straighten me out. I feel like a pretzel with a hangover. Any questions? Yeah, how do we untangle ourselves? Ah, so you're wondering too? <laughs> Take your places for the Lambeth Walk. <laughs> you feel lamby, Duchess? Oh, I've been waiting for this merry moment. I love to dance. All right, get off my feet and we'll take off. <laughs> Hold me tight. Oh, tighter. I can still breathe. Oh, pardon me, Duchess. Did anyone ever tell you you dance divinely? <laughs> Why, no. That's what I thought. But the Duke says I'm as light as a zephyr. Yeah, Lincoln Zephyr. <laughs> pardon me, did I step on your toe? Oh, isn't it wonderful? I feel as if we're dancing on air. We are, Duchess. We just went through the window. <laughs> Walk? No, Duchess, this is the sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a special announcement to make, and we'd all sincerely appreciate it if you would take it right to your hearts. At this time of the year, 400 American cities are raising community chest and welfare funds to maintain their hospitals, visiting nurse, child and family welfare, and other humanitarian services. These community chests deserve your support. Give generously, won't you? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for the memory of Tuesdays at the mic. We hope we've made them bright We're well repaid to if we've made you happier tonight And thank you so much Thanks for the memory Of you, Miss Martha Ray You take a serenade And break it down until it sounds like Swing is here to stay And thank you so much I hope folks will always bring laughter and cheer homes from cellar to rafter. Let's remember our last benefactor. The fun is sent by Pepsodent. Oh, yeah. Say, pardon me, Bob, but what have we in line for next week's show? Uh, next week, we're really going to do it up. We're going to have one of the three famous Marx Brothers, Chico Marx. And Skinny Ennis will be here with his band, our choir, Six Hits in the Mist. Jerry Colonna and... Bob Hope. Thank you, Bill Goodwin. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. The memory. Old Man River is from Jerome Kern's showboat. How'd You Like to Love Me is from the Paramount Picture College Swing... The Lambeth Walk is from the English production, Me and My Girl. Until next Tuesday night at the same time, the Pepsodent Company bids you good night. This is the National Broadcasting Company.